so I'm here at Hartland Point. Nice view. There's a lighthouse and a ship back down there. My challenge for today is to walk from Hartland Point to Hartland Quay, which I think is just over three miles. Should be an interesting journey. The cliffs are actually quite spectacular. I'll show you when I get to Hartland Quay what exactly they're like. For now, let's just have a look at the view here. There's Hartland Point Lighthouse. And there is a shipwreck. It's in two pieces. It says here on the little information board. In the early hours of the 31st of December 1982, the Panamanian registered coaster, Joanna, came ashore less than 400 metres from the lighthouse. I'm not sure what the captain was doing at the time. All of them survived. Apparently he was heading towards Barry from Holland. I don't know, maybe they just didn't want to go to Barry. I can't blame them myself. And there is Lundy Island. That's where I was a few days ago. Or, if I'm going to put this earlier in the edit, that's where I'm going in a few days. I'm just leaving Heartland Point and now making my way to Heartland Quay. The path that I'm on is the Southwest Coast Path, which is one of the longest in the country, not as long as the Monarch's Way, which follows the route that Charles II used to escape the country after the Battle of Worcester. And you would have thought that it being one of the major scenic paths, it would be very well maintained. But for the most part, it's, it's like this. It's barely wide enough for two feet and in some places it's just downright treacherous. Hope I don't come across any of those places today. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep away from the edge of this bit. I've just come to this rather nice bay. If you look over there, there's a sheer cliff. There's actually a path up to the top of that, which I'm not going to be taking today. Mostly because I'm not suicidal. So, it appears I've reached something of a dead end, but, well, there's the view, and there is a path, but it's not much of a path. I'm okay with that. I'm going to do some climbing now. Look at that. And there is my destination. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Steps. Lots of steps, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be from down there. Progress. Let's carry on up these steps. So I've just come across this rather delightful cottage here. I do believe that this particular cottage was used on the set of Sense and Sensibility a few years ago. It was the TV movie version, not the one with Emma Thompson and Alan Bigman. It had Mark Williams in though, one Weasley's dad. That, that is indeed the cottage used in Sense and Sensibility, not the one with Alan Bigman. He played um, Colonel Brandon, I believe. Yes, it's a very beautiful house here, as you can see. Nice sea view. A fine property, but not the one I was in, I'm afraid. I'm fairly certain they didn't have that in the early 19th century. Oh, BMWs. I'm at Heartland Quay. It's a very nice day here at the moment. I'm fairly certain this is the location where, in Top Gear, Jeremy Clarkson's Citroen Tower Block went over the edge. I think it was somewhere around there. Unfortunately, the BBC will not allow us to use that footage. So, here instead is a reenactment. And with weather like this, and with scenery like that, holidaying in the British Isles really does make sense. What? What was that? You see, one of the interesting things about Heartland Quay are the cliffs. If you take into account that that used to be the seabed and therefore flat, that is quite spectacular. And it's like this all the way along this stretch of coast. A uh, pointy, jaggy bit there. You see, it's not entirely even. Some are at an angle like that, some are at an angle like that, some are like that again, and some are like that, as you can see over there. They're a small cave. It looks like the tide's coming in now. It's been a good walk today. Yes, the tide is definitely coming in. I think all there is to say now is I'm tired. 
I'm hungry and well it, it was just a very good walk. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. This is one of the dangers of driving on Exmoor. This is a, another hazard, or should I say annoyance, of driving on Exmoor. Look at that! Camper van going really slow. That's annoying. <laughs>